different. I've been using <laughs> black t-shirts in the middle of summer here and it's smoking hot. So I bought some lighter, heavier duty Carhartt t-shirts and I wanted my logo on it so when I'm going around someone's house they don't think I'm up to no good. So I have to change my colors a little bit here but to stand against the yellow. So I just thought maybe I'll take you along and uh, show you how to make your own t-shirt. It's got a little program. What is it? Vinyl Master. And then one of these little cutters. U.S. cutter. Uh, you probably can't tell. I don't know. It's not too bad. To make a shirt, I should say. So heat transfer vinyl, it's got a glossy side and a dull side. There's the dull side, there's the glossy side. The glossy side's got a protective coating on it that you can iron on. So you put the dull side up. Lock it in. I already have my design. I designed that. I mean, it's not my design, but I created it for here. And we tell it to cut now. That was pretty quick. That's it. There's my Zia symbol. Then I'll set up and do the Beltec and then I'll show you on the heat press that I just got today. Now I am by no means an expert. I just got this thing literally today off the UPS truck. So I'm just figuring it out as I go. Very reasonable priced. Do a just a, a quick press to get the wrinkles out. Smooth. I'm just gonna do this on the fly. It's terrible, I know. All right, so I got a little cricket cutter. And it's got nice straight edges and I don't have to be all crooked over there trying to figure that out. When you're making your next cut. Then you gotta weed it. They call it weeding. A little poker. This is not sticky at all. Now if this was regular vinyl for like door signs or making other stuff, then I'd be you don't you gotta be a lot more careful with it. Because if it sticks to itself, it peels it off and you start over. At least this stuff's not sticky. stuff is tacky so you can stick it on your shirt and it'll stay put until you get it where you want it I'm 
I'm just guessing. I'm not marking anything out. I'm not that fussy of a guy. I do want it to look nice though. But... Alright, so the vinyl's on the bottom. This is a really thick piece of plastic that's uh, not going to melt. You can use a regular iron. That's how I did my first one. And uh, I melted the plastic because I had it set way too hot. And I got it set at 305 degrees for 15 seconds. Just lock it down. Don't peel it off until it's cool. You gotta wait like a minute, then it's cool enough. Otherwise, the vinyl will come right up with the stuff. All right, let's do the letters. White that's got the same thing. Dull on one side, shiny on the on the other. You got a smaller cutting tip for heat transfer vinyl. Just make sure you don't set it too deep so it don't cut through the thicker stuff. And then when you do your lettering, you have to do it mirror, so it cuts it backwards. And I'll show you that when I weed the next one. Here. Cutting two of them at once, save a little vinyl. pretty random. Just jumps from one to the other. This side's this side's cutting a little deeper than that side for some reason. excavating or auto repair but still might be something somebody might be able to watch and learn something or not learn something I don't know If anything or nothing else, maybe it'll put you to sleep if you have trouble sleeping at night. Probably be best to set up. I only bought six t shirts. Probably be smart if I just did them all at once. So I have to keep shutting this press off, but I left it on this time. Stuff kind of pulls hard.
love supporting my local businesses, but it seemed like it was pretty expensive, and I think I could buy this mat the material and the press cheaper than I could get the shirts made. So I will just learn as I go. Alright, so that's the way it cut it. Uh, mirror. And this is the sticky side. So now I'll put that down and there it's straight. I'm going to take the other one and cover up the original just in case because I don't want that to melt and stick to the plate. Counts down automatically. Pretty fancy. I, mean, I just pulled it out of the box, plugged it in, turned it on. That's all I did. Here's the instructions. It pretty much tells you to do that. that one cool and rinse and repeat only three more to go well if it's something you're interested in getting into it seems like it's a pretty easy thing and there seems to be a demand for it I'm just not in that side of the business yet but I do put decals on vehicles all right, well, uh, once again, thanks for watching.